Are you ready to discover all about the energies associated with the full moon in Capricorn on January 16th or 17th? Well, keep watching. Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another episode. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another episode. This month, we are starting a new series, well, this moon cycle, starting from the new moon, going around through the different phases of the moon. We're gonna be covering eight phases of them. So every week, I'll be releasing videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 7 a.m. This is a new time, 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time or Greenwich Mean Time plus 10, depending on where you are in the world. And we're gonna be discovering how to deal with the energies associated with the moon cycle. Now we're actually going into the new moon in Capricorn, which is an amazing time because this is the last moon phase of our eclipse season, which actually started in August last year. So we're coming to an ending of this cycle, which is pretty exciting. So think about what did you start or what did you put in place around August last year? Has it come to fruition? What has come up for you? And without further ado, let's get on to today's general reading. All right, so we're gonna begin with the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. And let's just see what comes up. Oh, by the way, this is a general reading. So just take from it what kind of wisdom like pinpoints your heart chakra. Um, but if you would like your own reading, or own private reading, you need to click the link in my bio. Um, yeah, because I would love to give you a private reading. All right, angels. What do my beautiful MK Love fam need to know for the new moon in Capricorn on January the 16th or 17th, depending on where you are in the world? What? Oh, that one flipped. Whew. Okay. Be honest with yourself. What comes up? What is something that you feel like that you need to start, that you've been procrastinating on? What's something that you need to, you know, tidy up the loose ends? What comes up when you see this one? In order to be honest with yourself, if you're not sure if anything just popped up as I pulled this card, then you need to spend some time in meditation um, or doing your self-love practices, anything that puts you into a state of the frequency of love. You know when you're in that frequency, that's when you can't wipe the smile off your face. You're feeling so pumped. Um, and it just allows the universe to communicate with you a lot easier. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure you take advantage and you download my free self-love starter kit. Um, it's melaniekatelove.com forward slash start here, or there's a link in the description. I highly recommend you take advantage of that because very shortly I'll be taking that off a pre, um, uh, what do you call it, offer freebie and I'll actually be um, charging for that in my shop shortly because I have some more delicious goodness coming to you. All right, angels, what else do my MK Love fam need to know besides be honest with yourself? What do my MK Love fam need to know for this first new moon in 28 days? I just missed a card just then. <laughs> what do they need to know? Okay, ooh, interesting because I literally had this card fall out of the tarot um, when I was shuffling. Giving and receiving. I'm actually filming this in, um, what stage of the moon are we in? Waxing Crescent, I'm not too sure, which is all about breathing into your intuition. And um, I just received a lot of abundance that came through my shop. A lot of people bought um, the 30 minute private spiritual reading, which is $99. And every time I get one of those sales, I'm like, oh my God, this is so amazing. And because those sales actually came through in the time of receiving, I'm in the stage now that I'm filming this, um, where I need to balance the giving and receiving. I received that money, which I'm so grateful for. And thank you so much to those beautiful souls that booked your own private spiritual reading. Um, but now I need to give back. So that's amazing. It's just the balance. We need to find the balance. I think this actually came up in our last reading, I think. So it's just, think of it like um, if you're giving too much of your time and your energy away, you're gonna feel drained and that's a lack of balance. If you are spending too much money and you're not saving enough, that's a lack of balance. Um, so the balance can come in every area of your life, but what comes up for you when you see this card? By the way, we've got some Australian animals here. 
um, what is that one, a rainbow lorikeet, and then we've got a kangaroo with a little joey in the belt. So the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, slash give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. I know for me, I need to give more. Which is interesting because I found money, if you follow my Insta stories, I actually found $6.50 when I was at the beach uh, last month. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, angels, thank you so much. Yes, all the abundance is coming to me. And as soon as Peter saw it, he's like, you need to give that away. And then it was interesting because something came up in my Facebook news feed and I was like, oh, okay. And then I gave that money to them. And then I received like $150 in my bank not long after that happened. And you don't give to receive, it's just to find balance. It's like if you're getting this abundance and there's more in the universe and there's more that can come to you. So balance the giving and the receiving. I feel like I need one more card from here. Okay. Okay. Okay, opportunity to forgive. This is interesting because this actually came up in the private reading that I just filmed prior to this one. Love heals all blockages and when we basically say I am where I am and it's okay and I say I I forgive myself or I forgive this person and I set myself free it's like the weight of the world comes lifted off your shoulders so what comes up when you see this one who do you need to forgive she's got two little it's like a mama and a baby that's two times we've seen like a mama and a baby energy The situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold your intentions of seeing this other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. If you need help with this one, then um, I highly recommend that you purchase my Forgiveness Heals Guided Visualization in my shop. It's $9.99. It's a very, very powerful, um, audio that I created to help you, you know, to shift that heaviness that you're feeling in your chest. And I can guarantee you that the moment that you feel that shift will be the moment you set yourself free. And this new world that is divinely orchestrated for you is going to come so much quicker. It's just like when you hold on to things, you are literally stopping the momentum of life. It's like you're in a, think of it in the boat. I use this analogy all the time and you're paddling upstream and it, as you are holding on to this pain in your heart, you're paddling upstream. And then the moment that you put your arms back into the boat and surrender to the process and allow the current to guide you and the universe to guide you, there is such a momentum that has been built up behind you that it's going to literally catapult you to where you need to go. Forgiveness, it's tough. It is a tough thing. It's about you being vulnerable, you crying all your tears out, journaling. I created a playlist called... Oh, what was it called? I just renamed my whole YouTube channel, my whole playlist on my YouTube channel. I'll link it on the end card for you. Um, it's like release blockages through paper, so release blockages through, I don't know. It's three videos in the series, all, series, all to do with um, letter writing techniques that I teach. Anyways, let's move on. All right, this is Archangel Raphael. He is the healing angel and I love him for so many reasons is that he helps me identify where are areas in which you can release your blockages further. Okay, Raph, what do you got for my MK love fam? We're in this new moon in Capricorn in January, the first new moon in 2018. We have clarity for, be honest with yourself, receiving and giving an opportunity to forgive. Whoa, oh, okay, thank you very much. Improving health, my loves, this is awesome. The angels are saying, okay, once you give, I feel like this forgiveness is massive. Um, I feel like once you forgive, that's when you're gonna be feeling this improved health. I love this picture for so many reasons. See these flowers behind you? These have already blossomed and he's putting his attention into a new little bubble that hasn't yet blossomed, but it is. Um, and think of it as in like your health, as in like the cycles of the, like seasons that we're in. Um, you know, plants don't really thrive, well not all of them. There are some like flowers for instance, they don't thrive all year round. 
or maybe there is. I'm not a gardener, so that's a terrible analogy. Um, think of it, yeah, like seasons. I don't think, um, you know what I'm trying to say? Like plants don't thrive all year round. They need time to be pruned and to be cut back so they can like bloom and flourish into this new incredible, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this new health is going to come once you release this blockage of whoever you need to forgive. So whoever jumped into your subconscious when I pulled that card, opportunity to forgive. I feel like you need to just like set your timer for like 11 minutes, take out a pen and paper and just journal like what comes up for you during that time. <sighs> Interesting. All right, let's move on. What else do they need to know, angels? What else do they need to know? Oh, oh, okay. What do they need to know? One, two, three. Okay, that one. Okay, meditation. So you really do need to meditate. You really do need to meditate, which is where you're going to find the keys to this forgiveness and to be honest with yourself. Like what is holding you back? What are you holding on to? You know, you don't need to, you don't need to be brave all the time. Like allow yourself to cry. Allow yourself to literally throw yourself on the floor and sob until you literally have no more tears left. You know why? It's because once you have no more tears left and you've cried out all of those emotions, it's like you will feel so much lighter. My mom always used to say to me that um, when you're upset, just take a shower and literally cry, get everything out. And then when you're ready, turn the water off and you just feel like reborn again. And it's funny because it's like whenever I get upset, I go into the shower and I cry. And it just reminds me of my mom. It's like that nurturing energy. It's like you, you were divinely protected. And um, another thing is that on my Instagram, I posted a picture of a bath. And I know a lot of you commented on it, which was so beautiful. And you were saying that you, you take a bath um, and, you know, you just feel those emotions and you put your beautiful, like, essential oils in or an Epsom salt and you just lay back and you just, uh, maybe that's where you can journal. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I would love to have a bath. I don't have a bath here. Um, but maybe I could manifest going somewhere that has a bath. That would be cool. Um... I lost my train of thought. What has that got to do with meditation again? Bath? Crying? I don't know. I've lost it. Anyway, meditate. Because when you meditate, that's where you can literally unleash, unleash all of the divine goodness that is buried within. Every single question in which you ask me for private readings, you already have the answers deep within you. I am merely a, a messenger and someone that holds space for you so you can gather together all of the little pieces of the puzzle together so you're like oh my god that's what i need to do and you surrender to the process and you set yourself free healing is beautiful it's not all like instagram worthy it's like you looking like shit crying your eyes out you know staying in bed whatever you need to do to heal do it if you need to take time of social media do it i did for seven days or ten days the best thing I ever did and I'm going to be doing that every single quarter oh that one wanted to come out avoid allergens so this is avoiding anything that um, excuse me I just burped just then I just made a really really beautiful breakfast it was tofu scramble on um, beautiful rye bread oh, it's just delicious anyways sorry about that um, allergens could be literally like people places um, situations, lots of different things, could be food, whatever is toxic to your body, mind and soul, get rid of it, avoid it, eliminate or, elimin or limit the amount of time that you spend with a person, for instance. So it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, please assist me in identifying and avoiding allergens that may be toxic for my health and my happiness. Help me to only crave helpful foods and beverages is foods and beverages but I feel like it's more than just that but foods and beverages is a great fast place to start all right let's move on this is the numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan let's see what we have 
Angels, what do my MK Love fam need to know for the new moon? Oh. What do they need to know? I just heard a song. I heard that song. Where do you go? Where do you go? My lovely. I want to know. That's weird. Okay. I have one card. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> Health. Health is the most important, which I feel like you've got three health cards. Improving health, avoid allergens. Okay, so your health is definitely going to improve, but you just need to be very mindful about the people that you're keeping in your space, the food that you are ingesting. What is, like your intuition is the perfect indicator to let you know if something is right or wrong. So if your intuition, like my intuition has been telling me not to have a full breakfast when I'm hungry in the morning and they're just t telling me that I just need to have like a piece of fruit and then because I've been drinking a liter of water too oh my god hold that just hold it one sec <laughs> this is this new thing that I've been doing my beautiful friend L from Ellen's underscore no Ellen's art created this beautiful vegan sticker for me anyways I got this new water bottle this is kind of like show and tell slash reading hope you don't mind and um, I loved it because it's like rose gold and this bottles totally spark joy and I've said to myself for a week and I've done it every single day to drink a whole one of those um, bottles which is 750 mils before I um, start my day so I either drink, I usually drink it at the beach because I normally go to the beach first thing in the morning. Um, or today I didn't because I filmed a reading at 7 a.m. So I drank that before I gave my reading. And I'm noticing I'm feeling so much better. I feel like my skin is so much clearer. Um, well, my skin's always been quite clear. It just looks better. Um, so yeah, think about the things that you need to, I feel like these two. Forgive yourself, it's like, yeah, wherever you are, it's okay. If you haven't been doing things that are in alignment, it's fine. Surrender to the process, set yourself free. So I feel like this balance is gonna come, giving and receiving, I feel like the balance is gonna come by paying attention in particular to your health, your health of your body, your mind and soul. My angels have been telling me for ages that I need to just go to meditation, yoga, it's kind of a yin class. Um, and I just need to go. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should pay for it. You know, I could do it at home. And the angels are like, dude, you need to go there. And I was like, okay. So that's something that I need to surrender to the process and just set myself free, even though I'm like, can I afford to do that? And the angels are like, by saying you can't, you're focusing on the lack of, um, yeah, it's interesting. I love readings. All right, let's get more clarity and then we'll move on to the tarot. All right, one more card. Oh, okay. Ha. Happy ending. Okay, so this happy ending is going to come through you focusing on your health, meditating, forgiving. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Focusing on your health, meditating, avoiding your toxins, and then that's when you're going to find your balance. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's move on. This is the angel... Oh, Angel Tarot from Darren Virtue. I've been studying the tarot, well, the angel tarot, a lot recently, and I have a love for it now. Before this deck, I was kind of like, tarot is, I find is, to me, initially was super overwhelming. That's why I highly recommend if you're like new to Oracle cards and you go and purchase a deck, get new to doing readings, just get an, a deck. I recommend, um, this deck this is my first deck which is actually a, a Christmas gift from my cousin Katrina so thank you Beanie um, so many years ago and I wasn't even into that then but obviously I was meant to it was like my first kind of awakening without really knowing yeah anyway I'll stop talking <sighs> let's see what comes up okay what do my beautiful MP love fam need to know angels whoa 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 um, there's two there take both okay that one Ace of air. Okay, so this is the beginning. Um, brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of the situation, a challenging beginning. So I feel like it's a challenging beginning because you need to really be honest with yourself. What exactly do you want? I feel like you've been hesitant. 
but you need to find this balance and just flip and start. Stop saying you're gonna do it and just do it. Like, what do you have to lose? Honestly, if it doesn't work out, at least you know you've tried and then you can refine your um, intentions and then just go with it. Because we're in this new moon phase, this is a new time to set your intentions for the next 28 day cycle. Um, but the angels are saying like these new ideas that are coming to you, um, I think that the challenge is just starting. That's all I see with this one. What do you see when you see this one? anything with that one let me just check the ace. let's start at the very beginning a very good place to start when you read you begin with abc when you sing you begin with do re mi <laughs> so i just thought of that because it said beginning <laughs> okay the ace of air can be challenging as many people misunderstand this card some believe it's a sign of being asked to give up on important endeavors I don't feel like that. When we run into obstacles while attempting to manifest our plans, we may think, oh, well, I guess it's not supposed to be for me. Oh, bloody hell, is that what that means for me? <laughs> it's often not true, but not with the Ace of Air. There may be bumps along the road with this card, but the minor setbacks should be looked upon as, as heaven helping us, divine angels, whatever you want to call it. Perhaps our angels are stalling us until the perfect timing presents itself. Oh, um, they may be challenging us to better prepare for what's to come or sending us the message that we need to make some minor course corrections, but we are not giving up. I just heard a song. Ah, oh, lost it now. Oh, damn it, I lost it. I got distracted by the two people that are literally climbing up onto their rooftop balcony next door. Um... This card is also a clue that we're about to have an inspired new idea or revelation that gives us a better understanding of our situation. You know what, for me, what this card is? You know how I created the Trinity of Clarity? I actually took um, those readings off. I just said I was booked out. I literally got rid of them on my shop. You know why? Is because I had so much flipping trouble with them. They were taking me so long to make that I was like, it's not worth my time creating them. Um, and maybe that was a bump at the road for me. So what comes up for you? There may be a bump that you may be going through that's divinely orchestrated, but the angels are saying, you know, it's a challenging beginning because the time isn't divinely orchestrated just yet. It's literally just preparing you to, you know, um, uh, like iron out the creases. That's so funny, I saw a hot iron. <laughs> um, iron out the creases so you can be better prepared for the path in which you're meant to be on. Oh, okay, then the next card we got was the Nine of Earth. She's fierce, she's just beautiful. Enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So I feel like the time that we're gonna be spending alone is gonna be coming through this meditation and avoiding these things that don't serve us because sometimes we need to withdraw in order to refine what we need to do to set ourselves free. She's surrounded by so much beauty. Let me check. I always second guess myself with the tarot. I don't know why. I feel because I'm still like a newbie to it, but the angels are like, dude, you already know this. Okay. The Nine of Earth is a card of success, luxury, and self-nurturing. Our prosperity hasn't been handed to us, but earned by many hours of long, hard work. Yes. We deserve to rest and we deserve the rest and relaxation that we're currently experiencing, which is, which I just said, didn't I? Um, um, this card also refers to people nearing retirement or at the very least those who have earned enough money to stop working if they choose. Ooh, ooh. This card is a sign that the plans to get into business for ourselves are well-founded and should be pursued. This is a card of quiet reflection. We've learned the differences between pleasant solitude and being lonely. That's an interesting one. We've 
we enjoy our time in nature and we don't need the company of others to be happy. Well, that's so true. You know, I always used to be like the, the needy person, the relationship that was like, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? And now I'm like, this is what I'm doing. Um, well, it's not really like that. It's kind of like, anyway, we won't talk about that. It's more about compromise now, but I'm, I now feel like I have a backbone. And I really, I enjoy my own company. Like I love spending time with myself. Um, I used to live by myself and I flipping loved it. Absolutely loved it. But it's all about finding the balance. It's like if you spend a lot of time indoors and you need to go out and mother nature, just even to walk past your neighbors and just say, good morning. Um, I, lost, I lose count of the amount of times I say good morning to the people walking to the beach every day. There's so many. Um, Let's get one more, one more, and then we will um, go on. We had a lot of cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. One more card. I feel like we kind of already know what to do. Okay, angels, last card for my MP Love Fan. What do they need to know? Oh. Last card. No! Bloody hell. Hold on, guys. The energies are crazy today. They're flying everywhere. I'm gonna pull this one because that one just seems to jump out at me. King of Earth. Okay, so we we went from the Nine of Earth and now we progressed to the King. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. This is beautiful because he doesn't have like a sword drawn and he's not like, ah, oh, I'm ready to like fight you off. He has a very beautiful, nurturing, kind, um, energy. It's very beautiful. And the, the horse isn't, um, in like charging mode either. He's kind of like all as well. It's kind of like, you know, I know who I am and uh, yeah. I feel like you know what to do and I feel like it's come full circle because it's like be honest with yourself what do you need to do and it's like okay buckle down get that shit done guys you know well in summary of today's beautiful reading we have blah blah blah, blah. be honest with yourself find your balance avoid the allergens that may be toxic for yourself forgive forgiveness is massive when we forgive that's when we're going to find this happy ending um and then these new ideas and inspirations that are coming from this new chapter of you like being honest with yourself because once you forgive it's like it's just you're reborn and you have a new opportunity to bloom and to shine and the angels are like okay every all the ingredients are right for your success but you have to put in the work it's not going to come to you like in regards to my yoga class i have to book it i'm not going to be like oh, okay on thursdays between this and this time i'm going to go to meditation um, yoga and whatever the fuck it's called it's like I have to book it I have to literally call up the woman and be like okay I want to purchase your one class um what do you call it membership blah 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 and she'll be like sure no worries like I already contacted her but I haven't followed up to actually book it so I need to book it okay do you guys feel good what came up I'm so excited to hear can you comment below let me know what came up for you and yeah that's your little divine message for today how exciting then i heard that song get a superstar or is it you're a superstar that is what you are gotta ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. run away with me yeah i don't know why that came up but yeah i feel like this is massive the balance, the balance is massive. Be honest with yourself, what does that mean? If you like this video, can you give me a thumbs up so I know that you want more of this content? And um, I will be with you on Sunday at 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time for the next moon cycle. I don't even know what the next one is. It's behind me somewhere back there, but oh, I just looked at the screen that's had 222 on it. So yeah. All this delicious goodness, guys. Holy flip, that's a lot of cards. I normally only do eight, but I'm just kind of going with the flow more. Exciting, exciting. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe. 
Well, only subscribe if you like this video because I don't want you just to subscribe just for the sake of subscribing. If you honestly love this video and you want to know more, we're just um, trialing a video um, for each phase of the moon just for this moon cycle, just to see how we're going. Um, so this is all about what do you want to manifest during this time? Balance is massive. So how do you want to manifest balance in your life? How does that look? Um, if you need help, um, you are welcome to book um, your very own private spiritual reading by clicking the link in the description or melaniekatelove.com forward slash shop and that will take you there. Um, and if you need help with forgiving, there are two options for you. Well, there's three. Download my Forgiveness Heals Guided Visualization on my shop. It's $9.99. The second option is to have a look at the playlist on the end card, which is probably right here. This one is all about um, the letter writing technique. Anyways, my love, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I, got, I love you guys so much. And this, oh, I could just do readings every day. I just love them so much. And I'm going to leave you right there. Comment below and we'll chat in the comments. All right, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.